Greetings everyone, welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. And it's been a while, I think? I don't know, it's been a while since I've played it. The last Honkai Star Rail video I made was uploaded weeks after I originally made it. So it's been a while since I've played the game. But I forgot what I was doing. Um, But either way, the character I wanted, he's no longer here. So there's Blade. Don't know who Blade is. So I'm also one away from getting a 10 pull i don't know if i should pull on blade or not but let's just uh actually before i do anything i want to first hold up where is it a travel log i want to first do the um, do these or do the the, the trials because they also released trials to play as all the other five star characters that are in the standard banner so let's just start the trial off so after hp is lowered several times Automatically deals damage to all enemies, consumes HP to use a powerful ability. Okay, here's Blade. He, of course, uses a blade. <laughs> I, I break those because why not? But let's see. So we let me break all of those and then use E. There we go. Okay. I don't really care much for all that stuff. Okay. I'm also kind of sick at the moment. So <laughs> let's use this on the middle guy. Okay. Cool, cool. I'll use, uh, Pella's ultimate. Cool. I will restore, uh, Pella's, uh, HP using Natasha. I, I want to get the freaking five-star character, that, that other healer. Because Luka, yeah, he was a better healer, and I kind of wish I would have gotten him. But, again, there's another healer that's in the standard banner. But you're still able to get her in the... In his banner so i want to get her so after this i'm going to pull and hope i get the healer i just want a better healer than freaking natasha because natasha is a terrible person to attack with ultra was both a attack and a healer and i'm pretty sure the other character can attack as well but let's just do that okay and go uh hold on. let me look at my achievements go over here and claim those okay and there was something down here in the uh, in astral guy or whatever right here I do that and then i gotta go over to the store i can't afford these has still yet to comes back in four days <laughs> and then this one i just gotta get one more of this and hope let's go to warp uh, do i have any standard about no i don't okay but over here character trials you're able to try as all of them this is the character i want so before I pull, I'm going to just quickly test her out. Immediately heals allies who have been dealt a killing blow. Provides a healing mark that immediately restores HP when ally takes damage. It's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. Okay, let me, let me take those out and come over to this guy. And a t oh, I restored. So she has restore ability that she is there. Okay, so let's see this. It's locked on to me. I will use uh, this one. She uses the single target and uh, hook. Looks also pretty good. I no want to use the ultimate and that restores HP, right? Yep, it increases the HP. So yeah, she is pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to replace Natasha. There's only so far three healers in the game. And I only have one of them, of course. So that's why I'm begging you. I wasted my five star luck on that one guy. The, the freaking. On the, the, the other guy. I forgot his name. I don't know his name. But I wasted my five star luck on him, and. The truth yeah, that's not death. good. But the so yeah, I didn't even want him, and I don't even use him, so. Yeah. The fighting is meaningless. And there's just these two guys left. <laughs> Back again. He's almost dead. Okay. <laughs> and he just despawns. So I can claim that. There we go. Now let's hope. I doubt I would actually be able to get her here. Because I just don't think I will get her. But I want to. So I'm begging. Give me a five star. I don't even know if there's a way to tell in this area. I just know you can tell whenever it reaches the door. Come on, gold. Yes! Please be here. Please be here. Please be here. Please be here. It's probably gonna be Blade, though. It's gonna be Blade. Oh, yes! Hell yeah! Dude, how was... Dude, that's so freaking good. Dude, I, I got her. Oh, my... Dude. Okay. I got Bailu. That's pretty poggers. Goddamn. 
Okay? The one character I was actually going for while pulling, I got her. And then I got Natasha again. Okay, of course I got Natasha. And I got Arlon. I don't have him. Okay, that's good. I, that's good. That's the only four-star character I don't have, I think. <laughs> Let me go check. Go to... Where was it? The data bank? And characters. Damn, look at all of this. <laughs> the only four-star character I didn't have was Arlong. Now I'm just missing all of these five-star characters. <laughs> There's only Silver Wolf, uh, Sile, and Luocha that I will not be able to get. And then Blade as well. Because I'm not going to pull on him again. <laughs> Party waste my luck on freaking, um, on her, Bailu. But that's pretty poggers. Uh, I got Bi Bailu. Let me go level her up real quick. Let me just freaking do this for Natasha. This one? Okay. Cool. Where is she? She's all the way over here. Arlon's here. I don't know what Arlon does. I don't... <laughs> I don't... I, I, I've never used them. Okay. Let's level her up. Auto add and level her up. I don't have much level up materials though, so that's not good. I need to get more. I'm gonna send her. Level up again. Auto add and level up. I can level up two times. Okay. Where can I buy them? I'll go look at where I can buy them. Let me claim this. And come over to light cones. What light cone can I put on her? I can just put on the one I have on Natasha. Okay. There we go. <laughs> then relics. Actually, this one works because it's uh, for her. Okay. <laughs> uh, relics. Let me recommend it here. Because why not? And then traces. What does this? Max HP increase. Heals all, uh, heals all allies for 9.0% of Bailu's max HP plus 90%. Well, 90? Okay. Heals a single ally. I can get all of these. <laughs> I can get all of them because I have a lot of those. Okay. Get all of them. And this one. And then this one. There. Got them all. <laughs> and yeah, Bailu. Let me go replace Natasha real quick in my team setup and go get Natasha. Where's Bailu? Right here. She's at level 22, so she's not as good right now. <laughs> so I need to get more, more materials. Come over to characters. Okay. Let me go see. So she has 837 HP. She has uh, 370 attack. Um, okay. Natasha has... She, she has more HP and attack than Natasha, even though she's only at level 22. Okay. Pretty good. Natasha's speed is a little bit faster. And uh, Bailu also has more defense than Natasha. Has a higher crit damage. The same crit rate. Bailu's just way better than Natasha, even though she's way lower level than Natasha. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so we got Bailu, my only goal for this vi <laughs> for this video. But anyway, let's let's continue on with the story. We were over here, right? Or no, I'm on a different... I think I'm on a different uh, level. J, was it? Yeah, okay. Or no, I'm on the right one. <laughs> uh, it was V. And let's just teleport there. We are here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got Yukong, which we're about to meet Yukong, I'm pretty sure. So let's just, Please, let's just hop haste. up in here. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong button. I'm clicking E. So let's hop up in the boat and see. Where's my... Oh, here it is. <laughs> cool. I'm so... I, I got OBS to work with this, and I'm glad my, uh, my webcam's not lagging. I had to change my, uh, my quality or whatever to medium on, on uh, Sorrow. I usually always have it on high, but I had to lower it. To welcome you to Starskiff Haven. On the Sienjo Lafu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lafu. As the biggest port on the ship, Starskiff Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission, too. Definitely sound like a. What was it again? Oh, Ami Cassiter! By which I mean, nice speech! Okay. Too kind of you. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven, so, so I do this you, kind of uh, introduction Tingen. all the time. Anyway, Tingen's ma we're mad safe sus. now. Normally, I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first and report your arrival to Madame Yukong. Okay. Palace of Astrum? Right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Skyfaring Commission. Let's hurry. We haven't got much time. Oh, we need to. Uh, can we talk about it first? Now, oh, what? Let's hurry. <laughs> I don't mean to rush you, but if Madame Yukong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough, I wouldn't want to be around for the consequences. Sounds <laughs> okay. scary. I thought you said she was kind-hearted. 
We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Rest assured, Miss Tingyun, we won't go anywhere. If you can inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. Very well. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that was just... And she just walks away. <laughs> Little Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. I can't keep up with her. I've spent too long on the bench. Let's catch our breath for a while, huh? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. Yeah. That Tinkyun is a, a nice. Let's have a look around Not the city. Not so fast. God damn it. I well, need to give you two a heads up first. Our meeting with Madame Yukong won't be without risk. We need to be prepared and take it seriously. She is a top Sienjo leader. Oh, Mr. Yang, do you think this could be Bellabog all over again? <laughs> I don't think Yukong is all that bad because considering she's a playable character, are you saying that Madame Yukong is a new Madame Kolia? Let me guess, they're gonna put us in a hotel no, first. The Sienjo Alliance is better than that, <laughs> but Madame Yukong will definitely have a string of difficult questions for us. Yeah, okay. Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to Estelaron? Who leaked their information to us? I still wish Kokolio would be a playable character. Careless <laughs> answers mean distrust and potential hostility, which would make things much harder for us. Crud. One of us is gonna blurt something out or get something wrong. I just know it. I feel offended. Mr. Yang should do the talking. Shouldn't we plan out what we want to say? Let's just be honest what with her. What if she thinks we're with the Stellaron Hunters? Never mind the Alliance. Even I don't trust them. She's right. If we're too scripted, it'll sound like we're hiding something. Don't worry. We'll find a way through. Okay, we got a message from Ting Yun. How'd you get my number? Benefactor, I'd like to ask you something. What is it? This may be disrespectful, but I'm very curious. Is is the Express really here just to help the Shinzo Lufa solve the Stellaron problem? Yes, why? Is it really that hard to understand why the Express is here? Can't someone act simply out of the kindness of their heart? After, no, dude, after all, people who help others without thinking of compensation or risk during the dangerous trips across the galaxy is rarer than the air vacuum. When the higher ups of uh, Zen Zhao first heard of your reason for coming, they thought you were here either to seek immortality or the Stellaron. Seek immortality? Sinking immortality is absolutely forbidden on the Shenzhou, no? Yes, as the home of long life species, uh, countless elixir seekers from all corners of the universe. Dude, stop it, I'm trying to read. Uh, uh, all the corners of the universe come to the uh, Shenzhou to reenact bygone his historia stories and discover the secret of the Zen Show resident's uh, immortality. Apologies, I may have crossed the line. I don't know why I said all this. I have absolutely, I have absolute trust in your sincerity, benefactor, but the powerful masters uh, are bound to think more than a pawn like me. So please be careful. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. New area, where are we? Huh, this place is massive. <laughs> it's big but let me um come over to my achievements and claim it how, how how much achievements do i have which one am i the closest to completing um this one i guess but no this no uh yeah okay i think that one over there was the closest the five out of nine that's the closest i think i don't feel like doing the math and everything else i only have one from here but this one's five out of nine, so I'm missing like four more. But whatever, I have 104 achievements. <laughs> okay. But let's head over to the marked area that's over there. If I can find my way. This place is temporary cl temporarily closed. Please use another route. Why is it closed? My god, dude. Sorry, this place has been sealed off. Please go another way. Roll the way around. Try to make them go around the entire thing. This place kind of reminds me of Liyue. I don't know why. It just, you know, just reminds me of Leo Way. But either way, I should be able to go this way. Uh, yep, I can. Okay. But we gotta go over there. 
And I don't even think the stairways uh, down there would have took me up to here. Uh, yeah, why is it closed? There's nothing here. I can go down just as fine. Why is it closed? There's no, there's no reason why this stairwell should be closed. It makes no sense. Okay, whatever. Yo, what's up, Ting Yun? Yo, Ting Yun, Ting Yun, Ting Yun. Ting Yun. Oh, you're what's here already. What Sorry to keep you waiting. Madam Yukong is expecting you. You not coming? I've brought the Madam Helmmaster up to speed. It's over to you now. Damn, Yukong. Chickening out, huh? I see how it is. Yes, Madam. Gung. Report the losses to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. They can't just stand there watching while we deal with this mess. Greetings, guests from the Astral Express. Ting Yo. Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities. But since you know about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the Law Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person and politely decline your proposal. Uh Oh, goddamn. Oh, the Sienjo dare you. Alliance knows what a Stellaron is and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. We have been around for over 8,000 years and weathered countless dangers Bro. and crises. Uh, wh where's your the chin situation go, huh? is serious, we have more than enough resources <laughs> to spare. Outsider help is not needed on this occasion. You are Why? guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? We are are here because From we what we've gathered the, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained if we can locate it in time and contain it it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion we have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters and we've only come here to lend you that experience I've said this and I'll say it again this is an internal affair of the Sienjo Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. Then why would you just leave, huh? <laughs> let's, just, let's just go. <laughs> Never mind, Mr. Yang. If the Sienjo Alliance say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. I'm afraid that's impossible. Hey, huh? how dare you? And what's that supposed to mean? It's only been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fu. Starskiff Haven has been under full lockdown. No one has been permitted to leave. How did you come to know of the incident? And what led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? I acquired the access history of Starskiff Haven. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate. Before guiding you, the Astral Express, into our territory. The hacker was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Her name is Silverwolf, a member of the Stellaron Hunters. Yeah. Silverwolf, of course. What say you <laughs> in your defense? The Stellaron Hunters told us to come here. The Stellaron Hunters wants us, wants to use you to take us out. The Stellaron Hunters told us to come here. You are forbidden from leaving the Skyfaring Commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated. <laughs> okay. Sisters, Don't where's be Jin? too harsh, you gong. If this it's gets him. out, the whole galaxy will think the Alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests. General Jing Yuan. Jing Yuan. It's very unlikely that the <laughs> Express has joined forces with the Stellaron Hunters. They are. Apologies for interrupting oh, your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the general yeah, of the I Cloud Knights here on the Law Fu. General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yu Kong. This is indeed an internal affair. I am sorry, guess of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Lofu, but I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. This is a Xianzhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. Of course, it would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Please. After you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, the Astral Express. I must confess that the train's reputation precedes it, such that it is often close to my thoughts. Roja's here as a hologram. Are you really a general? <laughs> would this be this? Uh, would that be this occasion at Come uh, Frightfully delightful. It's an honor to meet you, General. May I ask what the favor you spoke of is? <laughs> A matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. 
We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters uh, a few Blade. days ago. <laughs> who goes Blade. by the name of Blade. Blade definitely knows freaking what's his face. Um the uh, damn it, what's his name? Uh the other guy that's back on our sh back on the Astral Express who stayed behind because he was a little bitch. <laughs> I forgot his name though. Uh, Don Hing. There we go. Don Hing. Him. They definitely know each other. <laughs> During our investigation, the Divination Commission, the department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka. Kafka. Who has managed to hide aboard the ship. As for where that transmission was destined, the Express. I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. The Kafka's Divination the one who revived me. <laughs> that you made an alliance with them. I say that's impossible. The crew of the Astral Express are honorable people whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. There must have been a misunderstanding. As such, I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron Hunters to sow dissent between us. That's right, we've been framed! Maybe the Stellaron Hunters have other motives. We can handle the Stellaron, but it will take time and will require the bulk of the Cloud Knights on the ship. It is this Kafka that concerns me. The longer she stays on the ship, the bigger the threat she will pose. She's still Since here? Since the Stellaron Hunters lured you to our ship, we shall move with the current. <laughs> you okay. are hereby authorized to do as you deem fit on the Lofu, with the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. Doing cool. so would clear the misunderstanding between us, reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron Hunters, and help us understand their connection to the Stellaron Burst. What say you, my astral guest? Hmm. Huh. What do you think? I don't know. Well, let's move with the current and help out. Our expectation was focused on the stellar one. We don't, we don't really have a choice, do we? Let's pick the first one. <laughs> if you are able to capture this stellar on hunter, Sien Zhou will be indebted to you. The Lofu never fails to reward that which is given. Okay. Wonderful. It's a deal, then. I shall notify Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you, and that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. If there is anything the Skyfaring Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay, don't hesitate to make it known. The chat concluded, and Belt shot you a comfort gesture. You understand that this is the crew's own discussion time. So, I think it's also been, a. Uh, revealed or so before that Sampo is not from Bellabog and he's just there so I'm thinking Sampo might be a stellar one hunter but you must I don't know but either way yo March let's pop it March poppin I'm gonna switch to Bailu yeah <laughs> what's up Welt I think we only scratched the surface of this General Jing Yuan do you think uh there's something strange about him he seems suspicious I thought he was on our side he seems sus. So, care to elaborate? <laughs> um, uh, why would he stop us from investigating the Stellaron? Why did he ask us to go after Kafka? Why is he being so kind to us? He wants us to trust him. He took advantage of Yukong's frosty reception to play the good guy. Huh. That's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. Since the Cloud Knights uh -huh. have already captured a Stellaron Hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Uh, why rely on us? The CN Joe is reluctant to involve outsiders hmm. in the Stellaron disaster, so why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron Hunter? I don't know. Uh, could Blade have escaped? Do you think Jinyuan lied about the Stellaron? He's using us as bait. Yes. Only sensible conclusion I can draw is that Blade had already escaped when Jing Yuan spoke to us, provided they even captured him in the first place. Therefore, <laughs> okay. given our connection to Kafka, we represent the only way of luring the Stellaron hunters in. That's why he asked for our help. He didn't want to let anyone else find out that Blade had already escaped. Now that we've figured that out, perhaps we can get closer to the core of what's happening here. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Where do we go now? We gotta go talk, or we just gotta go down. Okay. But everyone is a uh, everyone's everyone's an animal person. She's hella tall. Holy gee, look how tall she is. How tall she is, dude. Like come over here. How tall she is, dude. I even switched to Yukong. Well, Yukong's taller than her. 
But either way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She's still really tall. Because <laughs> I'm playing as this short character. Let me switch to Pela. Yeah, she's taller than Pela. So, <laughs> I'm Byler. She's so tall. It's the legs. Look, look how long her legs are. Holy Jesus. My God. This girl. Yeah, what, what's with all these people and the really long legs? I don't know. Animal people. Okay. <laughs> Let's leave. Master Ooh. Diviner. <gasps> it's him. You heard our discussion. What do you make of it? I still want him what as well. What do I make of it? The Who's way this? of heaven is apparent, but the heart Who's is often deceptive. I think she's going to be playable character. I think religion? I even seen her in a, in a like a, a promotional thing. I think I've seen her. That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Like, you know, that, like, uh, reveal for our future it isn't character their intentions future that banners. Wasn't that I think my I've seen her idea, before. General? Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? It is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, you'll need a general to take the blame. I wonder How when Bailu will come <laughs> into the right risk. place. Because it's revealed so far everyone. If you'd brought me that aside blade from Bailu. And who else? I Wait, don't know. I have to look at the characters. Exactly? Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. I take full <laughs> okay. responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. I can understand. There's a lot to take care of on the Sinjo. You were bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. On that note, perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the six charioteers <laughs> next convene. Yes. I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Fushen. There are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. Troubles of the Sienjo, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. General, Diviner Fu wants the general's position for herself. Everyone knows that. She is very <laughs> capable, but her intellect is burdened by a quick temper. I'll retire when she's achieved a better balance. This Stellaron thing is easy. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word, and I'll solve this in a flash. I can understand your impatience, <laughs> and I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people. Especially not a major criminal. You think I'd lose to Blade? I'm saying you need to have patience, Yan Ching. Governing Xianzhou is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Where is it now? I don't I know. I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. You are my most trusted aide. And there yeah, are I felt like I needed to sneeze, but I hate it when I can't. It's annoying. Speaking of which... Ah, <sighs> oh, damn it. That boy. I suppose it is my fault. I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. My fear is that okay. this might prove too big a setback. Bigger than his exuberance. <laughs> Technique. Okay. We got a new message from... Ting uh, Seems like you will take a bit longer to chat with Madame Mekong. I'm going I'm gonna go have a stroll outside. Once you're done, you can find me at the docks. I don't think I will. But first, let me look at the characters, because I was going to do something. Okay. So we've seen her she's the main character. We've seen Japard, you, we haven't seen Bailu yet. We've seen you, we've seen you, we've seen you, we've seen you, we've seen all of you. We've seen you, you. We haven't seen King whatever you say your name i haven't seen uh su shang and uh those are it and Lu Lucha. so we haven't met luocha queen or whatever whatever her name is and bailu those are the only characters we have not met yet <laughs> met everyone else okay but out of all of this i have all the factions don't know what that means 
all the eons, all the terms. So a lot of relics, enemy creatures. Enemy creatures are kind of close also. The light cones. So a lot of those left. <laughs> but let's head over to... Actually, hold up. I need to go to characters and see. Do I have any level up materials? I have three. Let me see. Where can I buy them? Let me click on this. I, I can't click it. Usually, I, I'm able to click it and then it will... Okay. Let me go check over in the store. Can I buy them here? Not there, but here. I can buy these. Can't buy the good ones. So credits. Contract shop. No. No. So I can only buy these. I can buy 80 of them. I'm not gonna buy 80. I will buy 45. Okay. Or about 90. I'm <laughs> sorry, about 90. Okay. Uh, characters, and then level up. And then ascend, and then level up again. Level up. Okay. Okay, I can't ascend because I need these. Let me see. Can I make it? Auto-add, synthesize, confirm. I made it. Okay, do I have enough? No, I need three? Are you serious? Yeah, I can make this one. Let me do 20. Synthesize. Confirm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so all I'm missing is this one. It's over here. Uh, okay. I'm going to quickly do this before I continue. God damn. Okay. It's in here. Challenge. Okay. This should be a good team right now. So. A little something for everyone. This is why. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I need to get the thing. Let's, let's, let's fight them. Do we? Okay. Still have the upper hand? Let me attack you, and use the ult. Okay, I don't have these guys weak. Let's see if they're weaknesses. God damn it. Should've checked. Whatever. Whatever. Not, not gonna win this. Um, but we'll just- You know what? Actually, no, I'll leave. So I need fire. Uh, retreat. I need fire, and for her in the middle, I need the wind and- Okay. Let me get my team set up. Well, I have fire. I have her, but I need, uh, to replace the- I'll replace Pella. I'll replace Pella with her. Add. But do her. I do have a light cone on her. Let me check. Traces, light cones. Yes, I do. Okay. So let's attempt it again. It's all the way down here. So let me switch to her. Feeling lucky. And a start challenge. Okay. Feeling lucky. Time for weakness. We got the weakness. Okay. The wind. Okay. I'll use support first. On why can't I switch? I can't switch. <laughs> no, you, okay, it does it all. So okay, I was about, I was about to say. And, okay, that's a task. Center. And, okay. <laughs> Let me defense. Hey, okay. yeah. This person is strong. Holy Jesus. <laughs> She's strong. Enhance again. God damn it. And restore Oh shoot. Luck of the to die. Okay. I need to get her She's ultimate or her freaking skill. Don't attack. Stop it! Dude, are you serious? This guy's freaking strong. I don't have any freaking heal. Heal our character right now. Are you serious? You attack the one person that I needed. She's my only character that I have that. I would have had that with Silver Wolf, but you know. I didn't get Silver Wolf. Let me use this. The wind is rising. Attack first. She still has a lot of health left. I lost the one character who can actually deal decent damage on her. I'll just use this man. Damn it, you killed Ikana! Not attempting that again. I'm not gonna do that again. Let's just head back over to here. Because we will just continue that. But hold on, let me check. Just thinking about work gives me a full body migraine. Yada. Let me change you back to who do I have? There we go. Now let's head over to there. Gotta go down there. It's not gonna let me go down here though, is it? Or actually it is. Okay, they're, they're gone now. But what's up, Tingyin? Madam Yukong has asked me to look after you. Dare you. Seems like we were destined to be in each other's company. <laughs> the Skyfaring Commission has reserved rooms for you at the Petrichor Inn. When you oh, finish no. your business here, how about some tea together? Thank you. You seem reluctant. Hotel again? Easy. I know this probably brings back <laughs> the, the hotel from before. <laughs> okay. Um, we gotta 
come this way. Over here. Is this the end? Ooh. Well, here we are. I feel sleepy already. Yeah. Um, the sun hasn't gone down yet. Ready for a nap? That's not like you, March. <laughs> hey, that's not fair. My eyes are peeled this time. I'll make a run for it the second things go wrong. Jokes okay. aside, <laughs> did you see Madam Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. Oh, I'd rather deal with monsters than these big shots. Uh, I mean, not that Madam Yukong doesn't have her merits. <laughs> Don't worry, mm -hmm. my lips are sealed. But as her subordinate, I have to say that it's Madam Yukong's duty to keep her guard up. The Law Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Skyfaring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Sienjo's customs and borders. She's actually a very reasonable old girl in private. Uh huh. Old girl? Reasonable? Are we talking about the same person? This one. They say that many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. She was a play harder type, known for her hot temper and incredible skill. Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her to learn massive. patience <laughs> and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. In any case, Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn and have all your expenses covered. She wants to extend the full courtesy of the Sienjo so that all of you enjoy your stay to the fullest. She uh, specifically huh. mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, let the innkeeper know. The commission will cover the cost. Say thank you to Madame Yukong for us. The commission will cover the cost? That's the friendliest <laughs> thing I've heard since we arrived. Why did I smile at that? Uh, seeing as our hosts are so thoughtful, I guess we should help ourselves. Right, Mr. Yang? We should focus on our objective first. Seeing as Hellmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved, am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She encrypted her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. But as cunning okay. as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. Yo. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. Is there anything uh, special about what she said? Coordinates? Coverage? I heard something in the background. Precisely. That's huh. the sound of a device. Which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. Miss March, yeah. to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same. But for the craftsmen of the uh, Artisan Ship no. <laughs> Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The general sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Now, get some rest and prepare yourselves for the operation ahead. I look forward to seeing you in action. We better not get, you know, uh, attacked in our sleep again. <laughs> so this is the end, right? But, uh, hold up. It's not, we have to talk to March first. But either way, guys. I'm gonna end uh, today's uh, Honkai Star Rail video here. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I made this with a uh, OBS this time because last time it wasn't working for some reason, but I had to open Honkai it's Star Rail so as an administrator. Then I also had to lower my quality uh, to not get it all laggy. So it's only at medium, not high. Or not to get my webcam all laggy because it was lagging before. But yeah, let me switch to this. So guys, oh shoot, this okay, it's lagging. Ah, uh, why are you lagging? Don't lag. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, Honkai Star Rail video. Yes. So I've been I've been lagging on videos. Well, not really, because I'm been uploading videos like constantly for like my the times I usually upload. Like my upload schedule has been the same overall. I only miss one day. But, like, I haven't been making videos because so all the videos long. I've been making are already, like, pre-recorded and I just uh, schedule them to those dates. <laughs> but I got sick. I've been also really tired because I've been working all week. <laughs> so all week I've been working and then I got sick, so I took yesterday off. 
but either way guys i hope you enjoyed today's video subscribe if you have not already and i will see you guys next time peace out and bye bye